Keeping Wild YouTuber Victoria McLean and welcome to Noble Collection in Common Garden for my second video. I am going to be unboxing something very sparkly that my inner niffler wants to take home and I may actually have to. So if you'd like to see what beautiful item I have got to show you today and talk about this wand, then keep on watching. If you would like me to bring some Noble Collection magic to you, then make sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that all important notification bell as well. Let's get started. Do you know what? I forget how blooming heavy this thing is. You could you could clobber somebody with this. This is the discontinued Dumbledore's bronze wand. It is just beautiful and bless them at Noble Collection Store here in Covent Garden. They have kindly allowed me to use it because down here, just over here to my left, is the most amazing display of discontinued Harry Potter items. Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts items. Honestly, you have never seen anything like it. This shop is one of the most beautiful shops in the UK for Harry Potter and they do the most stunning replicas, one of which I am about to show you now because it's back in stock after about six months of not being available. So today I am using this beautiful Dumbledore's uh, bronze wand, but I think it's safe to say I'm not going to break it. So if I could get away with it, I wouldn't put it back in the locked cabinet over there to my left. I'd be putting it in my bag, but I think I might be watched. So I'm going to put it down and uh, we're going to get started. <gasps> So this next item is one of the most amazing items. Thank you so much, Floyd, for sending for giving that to me. Um, this item is like this is that they've done two. This is the second edition. Now, as you can see, I'm sure you can guess from this beautiful box what item this actually is. So here you have a stunning dark brown leather and leather kind of look style box with this stunning foiled silver detail all around the edge of this box. Look at that. So this item, not this one specifically, but the original was released, as I've just been told by Floyd, 2014, and it was the last Horcrux to be created. Maybe it's because it was a little bit difficult. They weren't sure how to create it, but when you look at this item, you will see why. The first one came out and there was some, it was an exact replica of the ones in the films. There was a li few little problems with it because I've had the same problem, but bless them, Noble Collection have corrected it with this. <laughs> I'm looking at the screen thinking, oh my God! <laughs> Look at that. This is, as you rightly know, this is the stunning Ravenclaw diadem by Noble Collection. This is the newer version. Now it has been out for quite some time, but the older version had no claws around the stone in the center and the stone occasionally would fall out. Now that has happened to mine. However, I don't want to swap mine. I don't want to hand it in because it is the original Ravenclaw diadem. It's the one that was released first. This one is going to be just the one that I maybe put on. <laughs> now I'm a lady. Uh, I'm going to put it on and run around the house and things. What I love about this, yes, in the film it is um, it is sh um, shown to be in a wooden box, but I love how they've done this. They've done the stunning silver detail around the front of the box, and then in the back of the box you can see the gorgeous Ravenclaw diadem, a Ravenclaw diadem, the Ravenclaw crest in silver. And then you have this just, <laughs> I just get a really silly, Martin and Niffler is screaming right now. So let's get it open, let's get it open, let's get it. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Let's pop it down. What I love about this chair, this beautiful like red back chair, is it's got all these little bits that I can rest things on. Okay, so this is the diadem. This is the Ravenclaw diadem, right? This is just one of the most beautiful replicas I have ever seen by Noble Collection. 
This diadem, Ravenclaw diadem replica is one of the most beautiful replicas I think I've ever seen Noble Collection create. This one and the Slughorn's Hourglass are my two favourite items. They are just incredible. And I did a whole video of the original of me actually wearing this. It was in portrait, it was that long ago, so don't take the mickey out of me, right? But it's meant to go, it's because my head's too big. It's meant to sit like there. Okay, so I'm not gonna put it on properly, but I'm just gonna show you how it's meant to sit. But my head is so big, I can't wear it. So, but I love it. But right, so what happened was, is the crystal at the front didn't have the, the claws on the actual stone. And unfortunately, over time, the stone would actually fall out. The glue would fail and the stone would fall out. But this is the newer style where they've actually put claws on the stone itself. And it just looks beautiful. It's just so, I keep going on about it. It's just the most beautiful piece. Oh my god, let me just, just talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here and admire it, right? Oh my god. And then it says obviously on the front, because I'm a proud Ravenclaw. Wit beyond measure is man's greatest treasure. And unfortunately, Hel uh, Helena Ravenclaw, is it Helena Ravenclaw stole this from her mother? And, uh, and hid it and Tom Riddle managed to track it down and turned it into a horcrux but it's probably the prettiest horcrux I think I've ever seen in my life I don't know if it'll make me clever if I put it on it might maybe make me a bit kind of like an idiot because I don't want to take it off and I might look like an idiot carrying it and walking around London with it You've got the detail at the back, this is the back of it, and you can see all the detail that has actually gone into this diadem. Look at that. Oh, I'm looking at it close up, and I'm just like, oh my God, you're so pretty. Look at it, look at that detail. And where better to do this unboxing in Noble Collection? Look at it. This is such a stunning, stunning piece. And it's something that I really can't wait to actually display at home. Because I have the original on display. And it's, it's on a shelf in my, in my, obviously, my Harry Potter room. And it's beautiful. But the amount of times I've had to stick the stone back on, I just want to put it away and leave it just in the attic and just kind of leave it alone you know it's had a few run-ins with me um it's fallen off a few times i've worn it in photo shoots and i just think it's time that i really needed to just kind of uh put it down and just let it retire and so this one's going to take over i think this beautiful tiara is going to take over Will it fit? Gifts, Will it fit? Will it fit? Do you think it'll fit? I mean, I'm not asking for much, right? I'm not. I'm not asking for oh, much for it to fit. Look at that. I feel like a queen. I mean, I'm, I'm a lady, you know. I need a tiara, right? I think I need to have a tiara. But what do you think of this piece? I mean, I bet loads of you are really loving your sparkle because I, I'm a huge fan of, of Swarovski crystals. Anything that sparkles, you know, I'm wearing my diadem ring from Monica that I had for Christmas. And I have my birthday, and like this is just like the most amazing thing ever. It's a stunning colour, it's a stunning dark kind of stone, it's so deep and beautiful. And then you have these gorgeous kind of crystals. I love the dangly pieces as well, the little dangly bits on this as well. It's just so stunning. Look at it. <sighs> I think it's sold. It's not going to anyone else. It's coming home with me. It's back in its box. I love how they've done this display box. It's so beautiful. But there we are. It's back in its box. All ready for it to come home with me. And, uh, and be in love. I'm going to display it on my shelf. Maybe. I don't, do you know what I would love to do? I'd love to have like a little like LED light on my shelf that shines onto it to make it really sparkle. I think that would be beautiful. Because this thing, it just needs so many kind of little LED lights 
for the light to bounce off these crystals. It's beautiful. They are back in stock. They're back in stock. They're £160, but they, are, they do go very quickly, so get yours now because you will be sorry that you missed out. If you do miss out and you can't get it right now, then make sure that you put your email address in the um, notify me box at the bottom of the listing on Noble Collection and as soon as the item becomes available you will get an email telling you it's now back in stock because I do and also don't forget if you buy things online you also get points you get crowns every time you spend money online you get points that you can put towards stunning beautiful items like this so let me know in the comments below what did you think of this item. Until next time, take care. Thank you so much, Noble, for having me yet again. I will speak to you later. And remember, I love you all. Bye. My content take a look at this video right here or this video right here don't forget to like and subscribe